Bonjour. Véronique. Véro. Walking around Bordeaux in the older part of town. Rue des Lauriers, Tree of Laurels, why not? I'm just walking and left and right and see where this takes us. I am hoping we'll come across at least a couple of Bordeaux's lovely squares in the old town. They each have a different flavor, I should say. But one thing they have in common is that they all have a lot of cafes and restaurants and large terrasse where locals and visitors spend time. It's about lunchtime now too, so it'll be busier. And in fact, here is one of them one of these pretty squares. Let's see if I can film from the other side. We are on La Place du Parlement, Parliament Square. If we follow this street with the fountain you see at the end, we would reach the Garonne River riverbanks. But we won't do that now. We will just stay in the old town, trying to stay away from the heat. Let's see. I think we should go this way. Not everyone is fit wearing a face mask, as you can see. So it's a bit of a challenge. I am wearing one and it's a bit of a challenge to stay away from uh, crowded streets. But we manage more construction. There's a lot of construction in Bordeaux right now. I've shown you these in a, another video, but these um, faces that you see above those windows, they're known as mascarons. M-A-S-C-A-R-O-N-S. -S. I believe the same word is used in English. Some of them are deity, deities, you know, gods and goddesses, but a lot of them are just 
men and women's faces. Sometimes they laugh. They can be quite cheeky. Here's la rue du Parlement Saint-Pierre. And before I go in it, one last peek at la place du Parlement, the Parliament Square, where we just went. So as you walk around Bordeaux, you will see a lot of these, or several at least. And they're all connected by small streets. And you know that Bordeaux is famous for its wine. So many cavistes or wine merchants all over town, the trick for them is to find a niche and to separate themselves from the competition. This one is called Cousin and Company, and they uh, specialize in natural wines. They, they do tours, expeditions, but right now it's difficult for them. Across the street is their bar and bistro, so typically there would be tables out where people can sample the wines. If you have just joined, my name is Véronique, my friends call me Véro, and I share my passion of uh, friends, a passion for friends uh, every day in social media, on Facebook and Instagram and on YouTube under Friends with Véro. And in August, I am traveling in Western France. Earlier, I went to Brittany in July, the beautiful region of Brittany, reported from there and then to the city of Nantes and currently in Bordeaux and heading south after this. If everything works according to plan. Bordeaux is a very interesting city. It's a mixture of elegance. It rivals Paris in many neighborhoods like the couple I will be showing you in other videos. But it's also, I don't know, to me, there's a southern flavor here. People sitting outside a lot, looking very tan, eating late. You might say it's the beginning of the south, beginning of Le Midi, or southern France, Le Sud. In the main shopping streets of the city, you see a lot of the big names, uh, chain stores. But in the side streets like these, you see more original boutiques and smaller boutiques. I think that's where the great finds are. Here's another little square called La Place Saint-Pierre. I had lunch here the day I arrived in the shade of those uh, platanes. Life is good. Life is good in the summer in Bordeaux. The square is named after a church that sits right behind those trees. Église Saint-Pierre. I will show it to you in a second.
So you can keep walking and find a lot of these streets. And here is l'église Saint-Pierre, Saint-Pierre Church, St. Peter's Church. Churches play a big part in Bordeaux because it sits on one of the uh, routes that pilgrims have followed since the Middle Ages to go to Santiago de Compostela. And Bordeaux sits on one of these routes, the one that started in the city of Tours, T-O-U-R-S. I think I'll take this, this straight here. Rue des Bas-Hutiers. This is the name of our street for those of you who like to follow on Google Maps or Bordeaux has been a walled city for a really long time. There are no more walls now, but over the course of its history, it's had many walls built around it. And the walls have impacted the layout of the town and what's been done there. Another wine merchant, Cave à Manger, a cellar where you can eat. So you can expect good wine and munchies here. I like these streets, they're so peaceful. And if you have an eye for detail, there's a lot to look at. Madame à la plage, Madame at the beach. The beach is really close by. It's about an hour away. That must be the reason why so many locals look so tan. There are also lakes in the area. Uh 
hardly ever follow the same streets, so I'll just... Um, I've been here a few times before and in this city and I like to keep experimenting. This was the Rue des Courcelles. De Co no, actually Rue Corcelles, pardon. Rue Corcelles. We're not in Paris anymore. Vero. La rue du Palais de l'Ombrière, named after an old royal palace that was here. That is gone now, just like the medieval walls. But we have one thing left from those times. A beautiful gate. A, a, a defensive gate at some point in time in the 15th century and you can see the top of it in the distance. It's known as La Porte Caillot. And this is also my favorite square in Bordeaux. The one I tend to come back to for a late afternoon drink or a quick lunch, for an apéro, apéritif. Sel et sucre, salt and sugar on the left, is a crepery. I've sampled, I've sampled it before. It's pretty good. And here we reach another one of these little squares. This one is called La Place du Palais, the square of the palace. And as you can see, La Vie en Terrasse has very good days here. In the shadow of the trees, very important in the summer. Pardon. And here is La Porte Caillot, this medieval gate that survived, that takes you on the other side to the Garonne River. It makes, it's quite a sight. So if you enjoy strolling in old streets, or if you enjoy magnificent 17th and 18th century architecture, Bordeaux has it all. I recommend spending at least two or three days exploring the city. If you want to explore the region around it, then I would definitely consider a week between the famous vineyards, the coast, the seaside resorts, Cap Ferret, the city of Arcachon. There is enough to do to keep you busy at least a week here. And it wouldn't be Bordeaux if we didn't have another wine store. <laughs> And here I am, standing at the foot of La Porte Caillot, once a medieval defensive tower that then became a triumphal arch dedicated to a French king after a major victory on another nation. La Place du Palais, the square of the palace. I think that's a great place to wrap this up. Thank you for following me on this walk. I will put all information about where you can find me and my videos, pictorial travel logs, stories in the video notes. For today, thank you for following me around Bordeaux. A bientôt.